Lisa Thomas Laurie has a story tonight from Bluebell. For the past eight years, Camp Jeremy and the Gift of Life donor program have provided children who've undergone life-saving organ transplants time to share the outdoors at no cost to the campers. This week, 12 transplant recipients and seven of their siblings are here on the grounds of the Mermaid Country Day Camp enjoying activities like Gaga. It's sort of like dodgeball, actually, in a pentagon. It's really cool. 15-year-old Gabriel Clark has been coming to Camp Jeremy for eight Eight years. I had a kidney transplant. He received his new kidney when he was a toddler. And because of that, I've gotten a lot stronger. Camp Jeremy also invites campers as siblings to share this experience. This is Gabriel's younger brother, Benaya's second visit. It's really fun, and I usually like to take care of him sometimes and get him, make food for him and stuff. They've been through a transplant journey themselves as well. Families are affected by transplant, but here they get to spend time out of the hospital with their brothers and sisters and just be regular kids, and I think every kid deserves that. Six-year-old Kale Bundy joined her older sister Cora at camp for the first time this year. Cora underwent a liver transplant as an infant. I'm going to go to CHOP Hospital every three months, and now I'm going to be going more often because I'm starting a research study to come off my medication. The inspiration for this camp was the brother of Josh Clemens, who was a mermaid camp counselor after receiving a heart transplant at age eight. Josh says this has been a way to commemorate Jeremy's life. After he passed away in uh, 2003, we decided to set up something in his memory. You know, this is our ninth year doing this uh, with um, the help of uh, Mermaid uh, Country Day Camp and uh, the Gift of Life. Um, so this year we've had a great turnout. Lisa Thomas Laurie, Channel 6 Action News. Mm -hmm. It's like fun. Mm -hmm. All right, still ahead. We'll check back in with meteorologist Cecily Tynan live at the Philadelphia Zoo. But first